It was it was absolutely incredible. It started off as just like another self tape that I was really really interested in, and you know I got the call back and I was so excited. And we read the full script and we and then my mom and I started talking about the script and we started talking to each other about it and we didn't realize how much it had impacted us until we started talking about it and just started bawling our eyes out. <laughs> but. You know, getting to work on this set was an absolute dream. Everyone's so amazing, so supportive, and we're just so happy to be here. <laughs> getting to work with Erica was amazing. I love her. She she really took the time to work with Lily and I, and we've had two weeks of rehearsal. And so getting that time to work was really amazing. And yeah, I just she's amazing. She's perfect and <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> We are at the premiere of Fancy Dance, and I am so excited to see this film. This film is so important. Uh, one of the last films I was able to do before I made the move out of the Texas, Oklahoma region to LA. Um, beautiful story. Um, I get to play a real scumbag, so I'm excited to see that. Um, but yeah, just the most amazing thing about this film for me was just the just the immense positive vibes that could be felt from the cast and the crew. The scenes I'm in are a little intense and I was a little nervous going into it, but I felt so comfortable working with these people, like from the moment I arrived on set at four in the morning or however early it was. <laughs> I think what makes this stand out especially is this is a story that I haven't really seen told before. Um, I feel like this is like a group of people that is, um, looked over you don't really hear these stories on native lands in Oklahoma and I feel like diving into this culture and diving into uh, the story especially is is about is like a, a woman who is neglected a woman who's gone missing and nobody's doing anything about this um, is very important um, this is like a niche of society that has been overlooked and so getting a chance to like help tell that story and to be included in in the storytelling was really special to me uh, same with the work too like the work was again a story I haven't really seen focused on with the whole world of um, social workers too you know you really don't see their stories being told um, so yeah whether I'm playing the villain or not I'm happy to be a part of it I'm happy to help uh, shed light on these people's lives and the, the realness um, that you know that is everyday lives for these these characters and these stories uh, well I was at first approached with this script and I read the script and it was just incredible the, the story really um, it really touched me. I love the relationship between um, the two women and then also uh, you know the niece and the auntie. I mean I, I personally resonated with that because I have a relationship with my auntie like that. And the fact that it, it also touches on the MMIW aspect and um, just all of the things that are going on in the indigenous community as far as women goes and, and, and also the jurisdiction issue, you know, with uh, tribal police not being able to do anything about what's going on with even family. You can't cross that line. So that also personally struck a nerve with me too. And I just really was attracted to the script. And so after I read it, I was, I was excited to uh, audition and got the role. And um, the experience was incredible. I'm, I'm a big fan of Erica Tremblay and, and her work. And I love female directors, how can you not? <laughs> Nothing against male directors, but I love Erica. And I love Lily, and the fact that I got to play her, her you know, love interest um, was, was pretty cool. And um, also, you know, also representing, um, you know, support for sex workers out there too, and the fact that they are looked at in a certain way, and I wanted to be a voice for that as well, with, with no judgments as an actor and as a, um, as a supporter as well. So um, I'm just really excited to be a part of this, this film. I'm happy. With Erica, so she called me, you know, before we were gonna shoot and she wanted to just have a conversation about, first of all, being comfortable. Being comfortable in, you know, the wardrobe and just as this character and she was so accommodating with, um, just, she wanted me to be comfortable. And I said, absolutely, I can, no problem, honey. I, you know, I'd be in a bikini any day. <laughs> but yeah, it was so fun. And and besides that, being on set, um, 
you know, there was parts where I had to be on stage and, and in front of strangers and wearing bikini, I mean, all jokes aside. And she just made it really, really comfortable for me. And, uh, you know, a funny thing that happened on set is, and really endearing too, is she had uh, her language. Um, there were certain things that like the, the, the DP would say, and then, you know, the sound guy would say, and that they were learning the language as we were shooting, which was really special. So yeah, I never experienced that before on any set.